This is number nine in our series of live demos reporting on the development progress of Spotlight. If this is the first demo you've seen about Spotlight, Spotlight's a plugin that adds features to Blacklight to enable curators, librarians, and others to create feature-rich websites that highlight digital collections from institutional repositories and other data sources. We've just completed Sprint 9, which was a two-week sprint, and is the second to last concentrated engineering sprint before we wind down the first phase of engineering and prepare to launch the first production exhibit built with Spotlight at Stanford. As with other demos, we'll start with the Maps of Africa exhibit that's already been populated with items. In this past sprint, the team worked hard on a variety of new features, enhancements, and bugs to improve the user experience for both site creators and visitors. The first enhancement that I'll demonstrate is an improvement to the process of building widgets like the carousel or other curated list of items uh, for images. So on the home page, what I'll do is I'll click edit and I'll choose to add a carousel. And as we've seen before, we have a list of five blank spaces where we can add items to display in our carousel. So I'll begin adding items and you see I have type ahead and a little thumbnail preview. But unlike before, now when you add the item, you see uh, the small thumbnail preview, the title, and the ID of the item you've added. I'll add a few more. And I can add a caption, for example, title, and a secondary caption, maybe geographic subject. And when I save the changes, I have a beautiful carousel on my front page. If I go back into edit, I may have decided that I don't like the order of the images in my carousel. So another enhancement in addition to the item preview is the ability to reorder items in the carousel display. The ability to reorder lists of image items and see a preview thumbnail and title has been added to all the widgets like multi up item grid, featured items, item plus text that allow one to choose image items from our index. A second enhancement is some UI, UI improvements to the carousel. Um, you may remember from previous demonstrations that when the height of images in a carousel changed, the, uh, the height of the carousel itself changed and any content on the page jumped around. Uh, a slight but important improvement to the carousel UI now creates a fixed height of the carousel based on the item in the list with the tallest height and creates a much smoother and continuous experience in the carousel UI. A third major enhancement that the team worked on this sprint was the ability to display objects that contain multiple images. This could be an object that's got a front and back scan or possibly books or magazines or journal articles. Previously, Spotlight only had the capability to show items that had a single image. Now we have the ability to display items that have multiple images. This, for example, is a single object that consists of two images. And now you notice that I have a thumbnail film strip, a vertical thumbnail film strip on the left. I have my open C Dragon zoom and pan, and I can switch to the other image in the set and back and forth quite easily. There are also navigation buttons that allow you to navigate through the multiple images. Here's an example of an object with three items. This is an important improvement that, that now makes Spotlight capable of creating collections and exhibit sites 
for objects that have multiple images per object. The final example, or the final improvement that I'd like to talk about is a local customization. And this is the first example of a local customization in Spotlight. As I mentioned, we're planning to uh, deploy the first production exhibit website here at Stanford in the coming months. And uh, we've added the capability to reference uh, records in our local online catalog. Um, so this is a, a, a good example for um, implementers at other institutions of how you can take Spotlight as a highly generalizable piece of software, but certainly add local customizations. So you see in this detail record, I have a reference to um, a citation URL for this particular map. in Stanford's local environment. If this map or any other map were in the online catalog, SearchWorks, I would not only see the persistent or citation URL, but also a reference to the item and its parent collection in SearchWorks, our online catalog. So this is an important um, customization for us locally at Stanford, and a good example of how you can add local customizations to your instance of Spotlight. So that's a summary of some of the uh, more notable improvements that Spotlight made the, this past sprint. The team also worked on a variety of bugs and smaller enhancements that uh, cumulatively improved the product. Uh, we have one more sprint before we take a pause in um, concentrated development and start working on deploying the production version of the Maps of Africa site. So we'll see you next time.